Then I said, listen, first in African pool, African pool, African pool. This is our key. This is our key. This is our key. World Magazine in Jamaica. Them get it. Them get it. Them get it. Style. A walk. Style, a style, a style. Can Squire. A walk. Real global. First and foremost, I have to say blessings to World Magazine J.A. Because I don't follow the thing and support the thing for years. Me know the thing because I always keep updating social media. And you see, I always see the real people and the people follow the authentic things for that song. And not just that song for Jamaica. So first and foremost, I have to say blessings to the eye. Even right. share the work from the high top. You understand? Man has a respect. First thing now, original global man. First dance name that the I had was SpongeBob, given to me from Bogle. This was when Bogle said cartoon character. So we created the SpongeBob dance and the Scooby Doo dance. Those were the two international dance moves from me that made me become very popular in the Jamaica diaspora. Then the name SpongeBob, it stuck on me for many years because as a little juvenile in Woolmans, everybody they just gravitate towards the dancing with me because they'd be the surprise. Say a little brown dude like me could have danced so well and then get the, the support from great icons like Bogle and these great dancers for come a whole so come watch me perform. It was a giant. So then now bit of a change the name from SpongeBob because you know say the whole it was the original name. And when you get older, you can't have no little cartoon graphs and you have to get something where you should represent me. And I am a militant youth, a respectful youth, so you have to get a name where you represent me, the authentic side of me. Fire Links now did have a bad reading name Global. And I was one of the favorite dancers for that reading because Fire Links at the time had a studio in my community in St. Andrew Park. So that was when now the name everybody starts saying Global, Global, Global. Anytime you're ready to play, we step out. So the name Global Bob, it just happened natural. One of my bridges, Simeon, the man just said, Global Bob! From there, so we run with it. And see, then, we call it down because from that, we can't stop touring. Right, as a dancer, we probably face every single obstacle. The only obstacle we don't face is negativity in terms of people never yet put my name for certain negative things like, Oh, but I hear certain dancers get branded as this and that and really. Yeah, yeah. Them, them obstacles are going face because when you live a life with militancy and righteousness and them energy they attract. But the obstacles that we face now, I say, is a brown youth. You don't really find only for dancer with my kind of image. So the obstacle that we did not have challenge with and people never accept me at first because people say, boy, that you tell like uptown youth. I'm too pretty for you to dance in and dance and then they feel like say dancer and I just with them put the stigma set. You have to ugly or you have to dark skin or very, very, So we have to break down the barrier and show them. Say, nah, man, the discrimination that is no skin color around this and yeah. talent around this. You understand? Then now, also, people they think say, you may come from a, a ghetto community, we couldn't do dancer. So we have to represent now at a higher standard more than the average dancer because the media against me, because the media say, boy, you achieve all the bad things, but if you portray your story, it doesn't really sell because people don't see it. It's not good for no set. Global Bob from St. Andrew Park. It doesn't have so good in Global Bob from one of them garrison there. Yeah. And so they portray me. So they have all the challenge. All the music video now, we start lead out. All the director said, Why? Who are you for the video? But you're too light skinned. So we start getting all the challenge because of the skin complexion. So when all the people said to me, say, Yo, then you the boss because of their complexion. Hi, take them things out on the thoughts because the five times we go through never have and then now we break up the standard for people think the dancers are idlers so we go to university we show the dancers can be educated to big up you tech because we have a marketing degree marketing major banking and finance minor so it's a great look yeah man yeah. no problem the difference between a studio dancer and a street dancer understand this first thing I don't want anybody to get it twisted and believe that I am against studio dancers. We represent and we love every single dancer, whether you're a studio, street, choreographer. You represent yourself. Good? Reality now of life. Studio dancers in the beginning would never be viewed as a street dancer because the street is the street. The street dancer is the dancer that goes to the street every night at every party every session and dance in the camera, dance in the light, go to the street to hustle him, him forget him, build up him brand. The studio dancer is a dancer who will go in front of the dance studio and would more get the choreography in the corporate side. 
because people believe that street dancers were not as professional or could properly articulate themselves to be presented in a platform like national TV or things like this. Which in fact, it, it, it is true because it's not every street dancer who can be professional. Majority of street dancers are not professional. You call them for a video shoot, they are not going to be on time. So most directors they prefer work with a studio dancer because studio dancers know we don't more on the professional aspect of it. But in terms of the talent, they're not really as talented as the street dancer. So that is now where time has changed. Street dancers now start to adopt the principles that studio dancers have because dancers move from the street to studio. If you want to survive in a dancer, you can't stay stagnant and believe you can go street, 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 street. You have to be smart now and say, all right. Or we can show the difference between street and studio, what merge it in a one. You're still going to the studio, but you still keep the authentic side of it with the street. That are the difference now. Kiva made the statement and it became popular. It went viral. But let me tell you something still. Everything has two sides to it. She has her point mm -hmm. because you do have some Jamaicans who represent the culture who have misrepresented Jamaican culture and I give wrong information to the people. So, do you understand the point to keep on back to? Because you have vultures in our, in our culture, very old Jamaicans who are, who are using culture just to try to travel. Mm -hmm. And once they leave Jamaica, they will look back on Jamaica. While you have a next set of dancers like myself, we are trying to preserve the culture. We are represent Jamaica. We are coming to represent, we are not represent global bank. Mm -hmm. I don't want to tell people how much dance we build. I don't want to tell people how much things we create and how much country we go. I represent for Jamaica. I teach the community. I build the country. I share the culture. So it depends on each person, each individual objective. So you know, everything in your life you have to have food and bad. So the statement is never 100% um, incorrect because you do in fact have some Jamaicans where you give people wrong information. And that is true. So all we can say is good all the survival over evil. And we can't talk to every dancer because every man to each his own. No one can represent for myself, no one can represent for my country, no one can represent for my generation. So we just keep it real and try to share the real authentic side of it. But we believe so if I'm gonna share the culture, do some research, represent Jamaica, for Jamaica. No represent no use Jamaica and music as a way to elevate yourself out of the country. And then you don't try to build back the country. No make no sense. The concept now is no longer as a dancer. We're going to a country and perform. We now we do my things and lecture format. And me is also a tourist director. Yeah, so I have been to Israel, Brazil, South America, all of South America. I have been to Chile, um, Argentina. I have been to Asia with Taiwan, um, Poland in Europe, France. Austria, Sweden, Czech Republic, all over, all over, man. all over, as the name is global. global, we start the country, we can't stop, Russia, all over, we just bless with the dominion for travel, and we just use the opportunity positively. Now, in terms of my portfolio as a tourist director, I built up a flat in Jamaica where I make tourists, a, a, a nice beautiful accommodation for tourists, strictly tourists. So I have been hosting over 500 tourists in Jamaica over the past four years and give back to the economy. So they like a shop on the corner and get a little food, the little man brought for the eggs, he might have a little shop and he get the buckle, he collect the buckle. Everybody eat a food, the restaurant at the top of the road eat a food. The community build back again. The party promoters, they love me in Jamaica because they're one of the dancers who bring the most tourists to Jamaica. And it's not just about party setting, we teach the culture. So we tour the students right across Jamaica. We do a cultural tour. That is where we start keep a camp now with the fiance Amanda. And we invite students to come. And not just dancers, but cultural lovers. So we, we do excursions, we do parties, we do everything. Historical site, Bob Marley Museum, every whole cities. So, yeah man. This concept where the dancers realize them come Jamaica, the overseas dancers I'm speaking about, they visit Jamaica and a selector in Jamaica will gas them up, in other words, boost them up and put them against the Jamaican dancer. The Jamaican population 
most of them, the majority, they are go crazy when they see a white person dance. So no matter how good the Jamaican dancer be, they don't go view the Jamaican dancer as the better dancer. They are go more view the Jamaican dancer one side and give more favor to the white person because just because the person white. We don't come out of the mentality there yet for say boy dancing evolved from skin color. They don't do how powerful people are dancing now right across the world. So, what well, fun for people to show themselves the overseas dancers respect with Jamaican dancers because for them or for we it's not a it's not a, a, a fun thing and sweating thing. It's a, it's a means to earn money, it's a means to earn a living. And this is how most of the girls go to the party them for, for make the money from the money, pull up them, for go over feed them kids, for go over send them kids to school. So when they go out and they see the girl and do all kinds of things. Them, for them it might be entertaining, but an entertainment for the girls mm -hmm. is a, a, a them jump and they puzzle. So you can't come and come, take that from them and then feel like say boy, when you go back home, you want to go back into your country. The people who are in these countries are not dancing the views and stuff like them have them other job. So leave the Jamaica and respect the culture. If you come then, give back man, spend some money with the dancer them, man. go do some class, go learn from the dancer them, don't exploit the dancers. And that is not a fun. Don't exploit Jamaica and abuse the dancer. Them. You know, any business, you know, people say dancing is a business. You know. yeah. So, you know, any competition, any business, you have competition, you know. And in a, in a dance hall environment, people say the people are alone, they are crabbing a barrel mentality, you know. Once they are at the top, and the hardest thing to stay at the top, because everybody are trying to pull off for you, so to pull it up back. And uh, that's why you can find segregation in a dance hall, especially amongst dancers, because the dancer, and I go and teach an next dancer a dance group, because I feel like, say, if me teach a Bob dance group, Baba go about speaker than me, and people are going to see Bob more than me. Mm -hmm. In the day, a man for us go said, the world, all we can't do the world. All if every dancer go on tour one time, we can't do the world. The world too big. Dancers they can in one country and still not meet up, because one country alone have different city and different part. And that they need to overstand. They keep big for everybody. That's why me is a youth, be no bad mind, no dancer. We share love. That's why me and the youth, eh? most dancers and me will get along well because they know me is a youth. We don't go in the street and compete with no man. I don't be that from man. We don't go in the street and go in front of camera and war for no video like that. Eh? I don't be that. Everybody know each person have their own style and every way. But me not in the hatred thing. I love the spread from country. So we give our respect and get back respect. And most dancers, that's all they do. They do respect each other. And if you, first, you have to respect yourself and then you respect your, your co-workers because all our inner this are we are trying to build the thing. So, with a love for one day, the segregation stop, but truth be told, it can't stop. Because in any business, you have competition. And sometimes competition is good yeah. because it makes some of them dancers have to pull up themselves and don't say, all right, we have to build some real dance, move to stay up on top. So, it can be good and it can be bad. You know, you know, politician work, you know, it's always promises, always talks in the pipeline, you know, them always talk, you know, because them all call me in a meeting and say, Global Bobby, I train all the dancers around the world. When Jamaica lose the championship title to Japanese, two years straight, them call me and start training the dancer, them. We bring back the trophy of Jamaica three years straight. After that, they don't need me again. So, them little thing that it don't motivate me again for evil or focus on Jamaica because when you try your best to build your country on your own, the own person, the own government, don't no, gain the support. No, well, look, the government don't be culture like everybody, you know, because at the okay. end of the day, when you see, you, you will see the government that share, probably a young baby who are dance, dance all worldwide, but they don't share, say, it's a baba teacher and uh -huh. another dance or teacher, they don't share the root of it. So it's a lack of. They don't share the end result. So we love, we love, appreciate what we see at the end. And yeah. we see, and we see 100 white people are dancing, we share that video there. We share a video with baba, teach them for dance. They don't share that. They don't care about that. Because we don't build with own. That's the mentality we don't come out of. We don't care if we push with own. That's why the government, do you see, everybody I use dance hall now. All of the mainstream music video them. And mm -hmm. dance hall them I use. Even the Justin Bieber video. I might class the girl there in France one month before she do the video. And they don't write about that in the, you know, the media. Me are the only Jamaican, the only little youth as a young choreographer, co-abrazing to open up World Cup. And Jamaican media don't write about that. Jamaica media not talk about that, but it's when you do positive things, people don't talk about it, people don't remember you. But go over there and do some negative thing, and worldwide they go. 
that's why that the that the media the media don't play a good role for help music either because they only sell the negative things they don't try to push the positive things yeah. you understand still because more time if you walk the paper and you see a man help a lady cross the street nobody not gonna read but you read see the next headline and say a man kick a lady in her car everybody take up the newspaper for read that part that part then because the negative things are that how stimulate most of the people's mind yeah. so they understand the next aspect right but sad to say the more the people get it right before it's too late because now the world are dance stronger than Jamaica. The Jamaica youth, they, they not dance straight, they are dance like they lean up, they don't represent dancers as a man, they don't represent dancers like they are some, some like a fancy effect dancer. They don't represent authentic dancers, they stand up like a man, stand up on the two foot like when a man you yeah. here, and stand up like when a woman. And that's the thing now, the youth, them, the youth them, nah, them are lead us straight because you them want to be like the, the European, you they want to be like the Russians. Russia the first market where we enter and start teaching in 2012. Russia, Sochi city. They will tour ago. Me and Avil are the first Jamaican we do seven city tour of Russia. We go Moscow, we go Yaroslavl, we go all over. So we open up and kick down the boundary for Jamaica. I make dancers now, we build a bridge between Jamaica all the way to Russia. So them just a little thing that people can the media could help and create their awareness. But some media support still. I mean, if you pick up the real people, they will support. You understand? But we still could get more support from the government because the government will help in no way. And not say we need help financially. Because we don't need help financially from no form of government agency. But just moral support. You can even say why the work where we are doing are some diplomatic work. So sometimes we even get booked for countries where we don't even have the embassy in Jamaica. So I have to send all my passport to three different countries just to get one visa. Mm -hmm. So just the, the, the struggles that we have as a third world nation, all we need is certain support, so certain paperwork we can get out of the way. Because the work that we are doing is greater than our cause. But I mean, I mean good over here. I hope one day somebody in you know, the, the, the agency, the government body, will see the whole thing. Because they know, the government know. But I was hope one day they get it right. Even if enough of my benefit, but for another dancer benefit, we'd love to see it up one day. I'm gonna want it up when we pass on or none of that because we have a mindset to give people praises when they pass on. We don't want nobody praise me when no up God forbid. But we don't forget the strength when it do. Yeah, man. Alright, you know, so my influences come from a whole heap of dancer, a whole heap of underground dancer, because my generation of dancers, that dancers were not so popular in terms of dancer like Flyby, dancer like Lockit, dancer like Greedy Boy, Shaka, a whole heap of dancer, Kenton, John Street, Scampatini, Breeder, a whole heap of dancer, with respect to the fullest, but people don't know them because our generation was the underground one, Wasi. Everybody. So, I mean, it's a, a whole heap of dancer inspire me because whenever I just turn a great dancer overnight and whole heap of battles and whole heap of confrontation with dancers on the street, it builds you. So over the years, that's why I don't be able to lecture and articulate myself a certain way because I experience. So it wasn't an overnight thing. A whole heap of clash me lose, a whole heap of clash me win. So a whole heap of things happen in a life and experience you learn from it and you grow from it. And that's why I learn. You understand?